Let me introduce the fantastic cast of Him and Her. Ricky Champ. Come on, Ricky. <laughs> Kerry Howard. Russell Tovey. And Sarah Soleimani. What's <laughs> the legs? Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Thanks for turning up. Hey. All right. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Lynette was um, an extra in the show, so here we go. We've got an extra in the house. <laughs> Lynette, Woo! where's the seat? <laughs> good to see some special friends in the audience already. That's good. Yeah, yeah I've That's got a good. couple of plants. Have you? <laughs> All right, Tom. <laughs> Ferns. Is there some special questions you want to ask from your plants? Maybe. Oh, okay. <laughs> you let me know who your plants are and I'll make sure. Um, let's go all the way back, Sarah. Let's go all the way back to 2010. I think was when the show first aired. Yeah. I'm not knowing when you filmed it. But can you just take us back a bit to how you got involved, how you got the role? Did you audition all of that? What was the kind of start of it for you? We had a series of auditions in a basement in Soho, <laughs> and they picked a scene where uh, Becky and Steve kiss, and Steve compliments her on her skills of oral sex. <laughs> and uh, they, they were trying to work out the best chemistry for the actors. So it was sort of a rotation of actresses and actors snogging, talking about oral sex and going home. And uh, there was a series of recalls. So I snogged about 12 actors. And uh, at the last audition, I think I sort of demanded 50 quid. <laughs> uh, hello. Uh, to, 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 to come back and snog more actors. Um, <laughs> so that shows you what kind of perverts work in television. And who was the hottest of the, of the actors you snogged? This one here. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. He was in the top five. The oh. <laughs> uh, lips matched. Oh, that's good. So did you know, when to, presumably, you, did you have to snog lots of girls or was Sarah the definite? I, I came in and I had, I had three snogs. Okay. Three snogs. Okay. Cocky snogs, mm. and this was the cocky uh, snogs. The <laughs> cocky <laughs> snogs. This That's was why they didn't get the job. <laughs> <laughs> this Clearly. was the ultimate snog for me. Of course, that there. So we did the audition, and then we did, yeah. a, and then we did a pilot right. in a in a flat. We didn't have a studio at that time. We did a flat, and uh, we had no idea if it would be a success or if people would respond to it. We just thought it was this special thing but mm. kind of an acquired taste maybe so, so when you first be when you first read the script you did think it was special from that you could tell from that first thing yeah you could tell from the writing straight away that it was unique and it was exactly what i wanted to do it just felt very truthful but yet really beautifully comedically written like nuanced and mm. the tiny things and it was all about the performance and the writing, which was... Just little chunks of life. Yeah, yeah. and it's mm. character-driven, which is what is always excites me, and I'm sure I speak for all of us. All of us. Yes, yes he does. Thank you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. I, yeah, I knew that. I knew that quite, yeah. quite early on. Did the two? Did you two have a similar? Did you have to audition and uh, all similar? We didn't kind of snog. No. We didn't snog. We had um, very angry. F full sex. on. They had full on sex. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. They had to go all the way. Yeah. Of, of yeah. course. When he fisted me, he got the part. <laughs> that was it. No. Sorry, it's clean. I can't believe you mentioned fisting <laughs> in the first five minutes, Gary. <laughs> what? Um, no, no. Fair <laughs> enough. I have five you auditions. Did, yeah, you had did lots. you? Yeah, because we did the pilot first, right? And then it it got a series, and obviously we needed more um, characters, and that's when yeah, the I wasn't in the pilot. In. I oh, remember okay. when you were yeah. down to last two, and me and Sarah had to read with you. You yeah. first one yeah. came in, and he was fine, and you come in, and we were like, he's brilliant. It and as you left the building, you were I like, vote for champ. Yeah, yeah. yeah. through the window. Just as I was leaving the room, choose oh. Ricky Champ. He oh, was, nice. Yeah. Oh, so that, so in a way, it. it might be down. But he was the he was the best. We sat there going, he's the best. He was just. Also, well. the other guy was unavailable. So. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. just the other guy film. couldn't do it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah. 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 I mean, the show has, it's fair to say the show has um, <laughs> evolved quite interestingly over the years. Like, particularly your characters. I mean, I'm going to come to carry your character. Yeah. yeah. From the start, she was horrible, but she's become a monster, hasn't she? Yeah. Over time. Is that, is that something that, is it easy to play that monstrousness, or is, do you find yes. it quite a challenge? Is it? Yeah, because <laughs> I'm not a very nice person. No, well, you are so a lovely person. <laughs> no, no, that's not true. No, it, it is quite challenging, and especially because at the beginning, 
she was annoying and a real sort of drama queen, but I felt that she was like a, a victim and, and he was the bully. But then it just, we, we totally changed. swapped round and mm. I was the domestic abuser. Yes. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's been a challenge, but it's enjoyable playing a woman that has no censor. She yeah. just says what she wants to say. Yeah, not Do you zero feel like attack. Like <laughs> Do you feel like a victim now after... after a little bit. Well, just uh, the journey of Paul yeah. uh, has just been levels of trauma. Mm. What, <laughs> what kind of trauma is he in now? <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, uh, that smashing about is all really fun to play, but there's uh, in this latest series going to be some, some other... Yes, some revelations. Other yes. Yeah. We're going to try not to spoil anything, obviously, but yeah. there are some interesting secrets and revelations. I've seen the first episode, and there are some very interesting revelations. Just talk about your <laughs> the relationship between you two. I think uh, I'm going to read out a quote from um, Paul Schofield, Philip Schofield, oh. Pip, not Paul Schofield, Philip Schofield, who said, you're a pair of lazy, disgusting, horrible layabouts. All right, Lessing. Phil. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he said right. to the... Uh, Wind your neck in, yeah. Schofield. He, he said yeah. that on the, on the sofa of this morning. Yeah. yeah. And it, I don't think he liked the show. No. Do you think it was too... A lot of people <laughs> think it's a bit vulgar, don't they? But do you think they, they aren't seeing beneath the surface vulgarity uh, to something, to what's I there? I think... Well, the, sto the way this show goes is that the first... The pilot episode <laughs> involved Becky doing a number two. Yeah. And I think a lot of actresses were very wary of that, of being seen to have a poo on TV, which yeah. is quite revealing and not really shown a lot. Not <laughs> enough, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I love it. But <laughs> but Sarah obviously wanted to. Yeah. And I think that kind of, at the beginning <laughs> when the show came out, I think people may have judged it just for that, because it's BBC Three, and I think yeah. they were expecting a kind of two pints lager packet of crisps zone for it to be yeah. in, that that's what they kind of looked at it at. And mm. now as the series have gone on, them kind of quite garish vulgarities aren't there anymore, and it become and then them kind of things, the toilet habit become beautiful. Yeah, and that's how the series has gone. But I think a few people formed opinions right at the start mm. yeah. when all the mm. shows being developed, all the characters being developed, that they've mm. sort of stuck with and they've not revisited it. They didn't look beyond the d initial disgust. Mm. They couldn't exactly. look beyond the shit. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> and I, I remember that question that Philip Schofield yeah. asked us, and it was interesting because he said, "You're a pair of lazy, good for nothing." <laughs> And how can you how can you like them? How can you and we were quite surprised because we love them. Yeah, yeah. we want to be more like Becky and Steve, yeah. and everyone should be a bit. And Becky it's such and a love story as well. Yeah. It's so romantic. You exactly, see. they love. They're, they're genuinely love in love. Yeah. Yeah. They're loyal to their friends. Surrounded by these oddballs. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. they're accepting. They don't judge. They've no agenda. They're yeah. kind of pure. It's yeah, like I always think of them a bit like I'd always want to be a, in a couple. Yeah. Like if you're going to be in a couple, you kind of yeah. want to be like they're them, the don't you? I think it's aspirational. Yeah. aspirational. Yeah. Weirdly. Stra weirdly, yeah. strangely. Let's remind ourselves <laughs> um, of what you're like on the show with this. With as I said, I think it's an exclusive clip. They may yes. have seen oh, a I bit of it. Oh, we're going to react. There. No, no, no. <laughs> 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 later, later. Okay, I got my shoes on. Here we go. I want you to read out the clip where you were on your own at the end of that episode and you were masturbating. Oh, okay, yeah, we could do <laughs> that. Yeah, we did that later. I have a voice over that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Let's have a look at an exclusive clip from what? the first episode of... Are we going to oh, see it there? See it? Yeah, you'll see it there. Here we go. All right. <laughs> a, you can tell how you're on a hor you're in, in <laughs> hardcore horrible Brides 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 so let's explain where we've got to then, because it, so the most most of the last series was dominated by by Steve kind of preparing to propo to propose Correct. to Becky and finally eventually doing it, yes. and you're preparing for your wedding. So this isn't now we've broken out as you can see from the flat for yeah. the first time yeah. ever. What's what's the kind of structure of this final of this series? This is the wedding of yeah. Laura and Paul, told over five episodes, and each episode is told in real time, and it comes across the kind of the standard set down routine of a wedding. So you have the morning, then you'd have the arrival of the guests, the arrival yeah. of the guests, the then you have the ceremony, so then you have the speeches, then you have the disco. disco. And it kind of goes through them. And so everybody can latch into it completely because it's completely recognizable. And it's all outside of the flat. And it's terrifying for us suddenly to be thrown out with our little kind of hunch yeah. of safety and security. Yeah. But 
it's been incredibly revelatory and liberating, and, liberating yeah. and it's a whole new experience and a sort of show that you can watch without having to have seen any of the series before because mm. of that mm. latching on to the wedding theme yeah. that is so recognisable yeah, and universal. It's, it's really standalone. You're in from the start. Yeah. Were you worried about the, the, the leaving the, the bedsit for the first Because I remember, I always think of, of The Influence of the Royal Family, a, a classic show which for years and years was all about setting that front row and then broke out in one of the Christmas specials, but yeah. it, which was great, it worked. Is, yeah. do you, were you worried that it, breaking out of it might change the show? Um, well obviously, no, uh, that's like a key change. element to, to it, but Stefan, the writer, um, has achieved something fantastic in, even though we're in a sort of public space, that we still snatch moments of mm. intimacy. Yeah. So yeah. you still get that old bedsit feel mm. yeah. in a hotel, in a corridor, in a... We, it's, it, but, but the obstacles are kind of heightened and the drama is heightened. Yeah. But you still get that kind of flavour of the old him and her in it. Yeah. I yeah. think as well, like, uh, we've had uh, like three years of building these characters in this one place and they were able to exist yeah. quite easily outside. Yeah. It, it was natural. Yeah. Yeah. And the focus is, is to, 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 to even greater extent than ever on you, yes. I think, to, and, and how <laughs> and this bizarre <laughs> character. We're going to see a couple more clips which are, have some amazing uh, <laughs> stuff from you. What do you have? A, do you have is, there, is there something that she does that kind of sums up how, where she's got to now at this point, um, Laura? Well, what do you mean in the series? Y something that she does? Yeah, in this, in, this new, in, the, in this new series, yeah. Is well, her state of mind. Yeah, her yeah. state of mind that she's reached. Oh, gosh, but it, she goes through so much because. So many things happen. Like she starts making crystal meth. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right oh, bad. Spoiler. Shit. Um, <laughs> no, but I can't Crossover. say anything because it's. I don't want to ruin the, sure. the, the series. Sure. But she goes through every kind of emotion you can feel as a human being. So, but Laura. So it's it's heightened and yeah. I, I hope if I've done my job right. I may make you cry a little bit oh. for a second <laughs> and then you okay. want to punch me and then, you know, I've done yeah. my job. I think so. The most exposing thing for Laura is that she's, <laughs> she has so many layers of coping mechanism and, and shrouding herself in denial. Yeah. yeah. And the last series, there was one moment which everybody actually picks out is the silent scream when it's all falling apart behind her and she's on her own and she silent screams and she pulls herself together yeah. and that's the only time you really get a reveal and she lets of, her guard of, down. The, of the true Laura and it's quite painful yeah. suddenly and you feel really yeah. sorry for her yeah. mm. I, what I picked out from this episode from, <laughs> from, from, from your point of view is everyone seems to be against you everyone hates everyone them. hates you all the, the in-laws the prospective in-laws yeah. and all the even like they've all formed opinions they've all seemed to have decided me. Uh, which I think is brilliantly believable, but yeah. I, but I almost I do I'm sitting there feeling sorry for you as you've got I all know. these people. Yeah. Uh, apart but from the obviously. thing is, mm. he doesn't. The thing is, Steve is that it doesn't affect him too much because he's got her. <laughs> yeah. Mm. And she loves him completely, yeah. and he, he he completely trusts her and knows it. If he didn't have her, he'd be. Yeah. It'd probably be like, yeah, self harm. It's like everyone's agreeing with <laughs> Philip Schofield about <laughs> what he's like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it, now you it's like the whole family is Philip Schofield. Yeah. 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 Wait till I see Philip Schofield. spend so much time in the bed sit because the world hates you. But we should also Steve. mention. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> we should also mention that in this series, Becky's ex boyfriend, Lee, who yes. was a soldier in Afghanistan who all the family loved. The hero. The hero. Returns. The gorgeous, <laughs> sexy. All right. <laughs> um, played, played by it, Nick Blood, the hot Nick Blood. The yeah, very yeah. hot Nick Blood. Yeah. Is, uh, is it at the wedding, and he's an MC, so he's got this high kind of status yeah. role in the whole thing. So that compounds his frustration yeah. and sense of distance from me. Yeah. And that's a really great tension. I think we've got a clip of him actually the s the, uh, coming up, the second clip. Let's have a look at another clip first, which, which has got some extraordinary action with, with the ladies, I believe. We'll have a look. Okay. <laughs> 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 So oh, good. she's so such a prick. That kiss is quite freaky, isn't it? Let's talk about that for a minute. <laughs> hot, hot, and slightly weird. Yeah. Oh, quite weird. I know. I yeah. was like, really? All right then. And yet, I mean, it is bizarre. And yet, when you see, you can, yeah, you yeah. kind of, because she's so yeah, demented. She has no boundaries. Yeah. It was yeah. like that's normal to her. <laughs> the, the day we finished filming that, we 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 shared a car home because we live near each other. And uh, Kerry got out first, and she went bye then. <laughs> <laughs> she just lunged at me. <laughs> 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 I'd had enough all day. I'd Did you have to do a lot of takes of the kiss? Did you yeah. do different lengths? I can imagine. Yes. Knowing the yeah. yeah. And we, and no, we, we did kept a saying, longer do, it longer, do it longer, do it longer. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. Yeah. And yeah. I think I did laugh on your lips, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. Very yeah, soft lips, though. Very soft, yeah. 
so the whole intimacy thing throughout the whole history of the show, I mean, the two of you have done, you're always touching each other inappropriately, you're always grabbing, grabbing breasts and bums and all of that. W was that something that when you first started the show, was it something you had to get over, like, oh, yeah, we're gonna, we have to do all this stuff? Or did you just do it and that kind of... It Not went for him. No. <laughs> okay. for, for me, yeah, no, it, it just felt like part and parcel of it. And I think through the audition process and through doing the pilot, we knew what it was and we both wanted to commit completely to these characters. So we were into it from the start. So it never felt like... At no point did I ever feel like she kind of flinched when I went yeah. for the mm. for the grab because that tits. yeah because yeah. for the tits or the bum or straight away it looked leg. really comfortable yeah. and I, actually inside I was feeling raped so yeah. Yeah. that's what a great actor yeah. I am of course yeah but, but you've, uh, you've, put, you've done it very well you put up with it very well yeah but it'd yeah. be the worst thing if you're performing with someone and you're trying to act like an intimate couple and you can feel them tensing up or being a bit kind of like don't touch me yeah. it would yeah. just be Strange. it'd just be so hard and you just wouldn't get this this kind of energy that hopefully we are portraying that people really buy into. Yeah, no. And we were kind of the opposite yeah. of that, <laughs> yeah. you know, where, no it, where it was. And when you do touch, it's really yeah. awkward. And we had the kiss Well, the kiss was the third year. episode, and it was like, what? I've yeah. not even, like, hugged this guy yeah. for, like, yeah. three years, and suddenly we had to have this really long, loveless snog, and that was... Loveless. Yeah, it was weird. Yeah. Yeah, because it was the... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> do you love nightmares about it? Because in that scene, it said you're, how perfect you are for each other. But of course, that's completely the opposite of the case. And without wanting to give anything away, you have your character yeah. has got a kind of there's, there's stuff going on that he's that got depth. He's there's got depth. There's, 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 there's layers. There's hidden layers. There's layers, and he's a great that? dad. Yeah, yeah. Is it, I mean, how, how at what point do, in read in terms of the progression of the story of, over the series? You, there must have been a point where you realised, oh, this, this is more to him than we see. And was that a surprise to you, even? Yeah, well, initially there was like a bit of a, is it, is it like, you know, this two-dimensional guy coming crash bang wallop, yeah. you know, and, and that's, you know, everyone was nervous about Paul. That's his knock, you yeah. know. <laughs> yeah, but a threat of violence kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, the, yeah, the, with every episode, there was more and more to explore from him. Yeah, and I think we've got out a lot. Mm. In, yes. Yeah. And I, I don't want to... And, 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 and actually, the... Uh, the seed of that, of all that. Yes, we have yeah, been around. paying attention, yes. And without wanting to give anything away, we do see you quite naked in this episode. Oh, what's new though? <laughs> well, but we're used to seeing Steve naked quite a lot, but yeah. you, I think it's fairly new to see you completely. As We've far seen him naked. I've seen him completely yeah, naked. Yeah, maybe he was drunk. Was oh, yeah, there was drunk. Yes, on you're right. Okay, yeah. that's naked. True. And they said, you know, this is a oh, closed yeah, set. Right, right. And I was like, okay, it's a closed set. There was still 50 people <laughs> with a camera right on my Johnson. <laughs> It, it was had a, a sock on it. Come I had on. a sock on it. Come on. Really close though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 An enormous sock. It was a very yeah. small sock. <laughs> it was a Thank football you. sock. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, it's still it, it's, it's quite intimidating. Yes, I can you imagine. Know, to yeah. Do that. yeah. But then again, lovely people around you. Yeah, and it makes it easy. Comfortable and actually, yeah, terrifying for the first moment. And then after, you know, b before lunch, yeah. it's like. All right, who's yeah. going to get me a coffee? Yeah. And it's actually really <laughs> liberating. Yeah. And of course, uh, presumably you're not allowed to be vain. Like, your because your character's a bit, like, you could have buffed up in the, but presumably you don't bother because you're... <laughs> in I mean, well, or do you? I don't know, I'm asking. Um, <laughs> crying inside <laughs> right now. Well, actually, Sorry. no, 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 it's fine. I'm, I'm comfortable. Uh, it, yeah, it was, uh, there was no change of my body required. I mean, you're a normal-looking bloke, that's what I mean. That's Thanks, what man. I mean, in a good way. It was obviously Mr... Maybe move on, boys. Yeah, I'm moving yeah. on. I'm totally <laughs> moving on. No. Yeah, I'm totally moving on. No, it was, it was fine. It was fine. Good. Me. Yeah, well, I, I, honestly, it's worth, it's worth seeing in the actual show, obviously. <laughs> Let's move on to the next clip. So this clip, weirdly, I'll warn you now, starts with, starts still with the ladies, then moves on key to the key to the character you mentioned, and you'll see. Oh, Lee. It's quite interesting to see. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. That was almost as awkward as me asking. Awkwardness is a brilliant is, is a is a key element, isn't it? Is that the two of you have to deal with huge levels of of awk all the way through. Key of keeping up appearances, right? Of kind of maintaining the flow, but also I think the fact is that Becky and Steve are in this series now are thrown into a role which they don't want to play. Right. I'm best man to someone who I'm actually frightened of. Yes, who I don't like. <laughs> who <laughs> I know nothing about. Yeah. And I'm having to make a speech and play the role of the best friend that knows everything about the groom. And you're being chief bridesmaid to your sister who you think is psychotic and dysfunctional. <laughs> and it's yeah. like, so we're playing these roles, so we're, we're keeping up the kind yeah, of yeah. momentum the of it. Yeah. Mm. Mm. 
You don't want to drop it because if you drop it, then then the cracks show. And we we feel a responsibility as Becky and Steve. You feel a responsibility yeah. to the well-being of everybody else, and that's what's so good about them. Because if they're actually bad people, mm. they'd be like, "Well, who cares? Yeah, the last series, he was going off with some guy, <laughs> and she's a horrible woman. And what do we? Do, do you know what I mean? But they're yeah. not. They're like they're so." I think, yes. I think I think Becky. There's a slightly more. I think Becky sometimes slightly enjoys mm. the map that all the all the stuff. That, whereas whereas Steve's kind of like finds it all really difficult. You Becky's less so, isn't she? Let, Be- Becky almost psychopath. possibly enjoys the psych <laughs> the psycho nature of. Yeah, her system, I think she think has to as a, as yeah. a kind of coping mechanism. Yeah. get a kick out of how awful everything is around her. Whereas um, Steve is more flappable. Yes. Becky's very rarely she's thrown. Cool. Very mm. rarely thrown, yeah. and she's got almost like a tropical temperament she doesn't really want to exert any energy and give any energy to being stressed or worried or insecure yeah. she kind of goes with the flow yeah. but yeah. I mean she's tested in this one Actually, yeah. um, people might think uh, you know uh, talk about the way that it's so naturalistic the dialogue and, and the acting and all of that and Stefan's um, Stefan's writing is so it seems so real but do is it all very much as it is on the page or when you get to actually perform it and film it D- are there changes made, and do you bring your own bits and pieces to it as well? It's, I, it's meticulous yeah. from the is script. It? But Stefan's there all the time, so he can rewrite stuff. And right. if the scene's not working, he can add an, ec- an extra line, and it's brilliant. It's That's great. rare, though. It doesn't Very work. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, some actors who come on as a, uh, you know, a guest episode are surprised with how particular they will get notes. But like, it's not, it's, it's, it is. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and, I'm Rightly so, because there's a rhythm to each line, yeah. and yeah. Stefan spent hours working it all out. So you have to be on, you know. And that is know surprising stuff. when the finished <laughs> article is so fluid. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. There's some kind of physical, like movement you have license over as a performer. I feel like, especially when it's in the flat, like I would sort of throw myself around all over the place and bounce off things, and yeah. sometimes. But as long as the dialogue's there, I feel like you you have some allowance as yeah. characters to move how you want to move. So when you like the two of you might be like playing with each other and picking each other's teeth or whatever. Was some of Would that, that... No, I mean, a lot of it in is in there as is well. That, yeah. But, I mean, to, around it and stuff, how to get from one side of the room to the other. Instead of just walking, I might just throw myself on the bed and roll off and then get up and carry on. And then nice. it might make the grade or I might get told off and <laughs> just <laughs> get told to walk. So. Yeah. Also, it teaches you as an actor to find <coughs> detail in, in different ways. If the, if the script is fixed and your action is fixed, you know... You really, you have to work hard to find out how you can <coughs> give options with each mm. line in here and with these. So it's a good, t- it's a good training for an actor for detailed performance. Yeah, yeah no, it's absolutely. Yeah, this is obviously the fo- this all builds up to a to a kind of a certain climax. <coughs> this fourth series is it is it going to be the last series? You know, is that the is that is it is it the end? Yeah, the right is nodding. Yeah, it is. Like, and did you? No. So knowing that, how did it feel when you finished filming all of that? Was it was it emotional? Were you, were you uh, sobbing? Or a was lot it of people. I was one of the last to yeah, finish. Yeah. Everyone else had left before me, and they were off yeah. celebrating, drinking their champagne, and I was still working. It doesn't feel like it's ended. I think because we're no. now we're on the kind of press junket yeah. for Raw. We're kind of out there. I think yeah. once the series is finished, it's gone out, and then we no longer text each other. Then it'll probably be really, <laughs> it'd be really really sad. But at the moment, it still yeah. feels like it's very it was, much alive. It was quite emotional. At the end, but it was kind of the the relief of finishing the long shoot, yeah. and um, and then yeah, you know, the sadness kicked in. And do because it must feel like they've grown because it's such a it's such a a real show in a way. Yeah, that you, that the and car- it's, your it's character given me my career, so right. like it totally has been a debut for me. Certainly, I feel so. I it was an end of an era for me, and I did cry at the, m- on my last take because I was like. <laughs> I'm never going to work again. <laughs> like, you have that fear. But, it, yeah, because I met my husband during that time and everything. My Me. whole life, yeah, my whole life changed within the show. And because Russell set me up uh, on a blind date, and I met my husband through Russell, wow. and that was the. Week I of actually the pilot. took a photograph. She did the pilot her the day. He, he was an ex of mine, and then yeah. I sort of. He wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> this show he gave me a career. And a husband. Done the rounds. So I, I, you know, I owe this show a lot. Do you yeah. think it has? Do you think it's changed your life? Do you, does it feel like the, the, the? I mean, you've all had, you've all done loads of great stuff. Mm. You know, that you've got stuff. But do you, do you feel th- is this a show got a special? It's is it as special for you as it is for some of us viewers? For me personally, it's the most proud I've ever been of any show I've ever done. It's the one that I hold dearest. The one that ticks every box of what I want to achieve as a an actor. This show is it. Lovely. 
Sarah? Yeah, mm-hmm. it's, it's been... Well, it's the sort of first successful thing I've been in. Whereas <laughs> Russell had hit... A hit West End show. I was in a West End show that closed early. <laughs> he was in a TV show that did really well. I was in one that flopped. Right. And it was the first... It's difficult, isn't it? It was hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first one that actually has done well and it's opened doors and it's definitely changed my career. Stick with me, kid. Wow. <laughs> and now you're in everything. You're a flop, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, watch yeah. out. Yeah. Now you're in everything. You're in the wrong yeah. man's and you're in bad education. And yeah, I'm very lucky. Your own sky living things yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, Kerry, you've got... Well, let's talk a bit about what, what's coming up. What, what's, I'll, I'll, throw, I'll throw it open to you guys in a minute. You've got your, you had your BBC Three pilot, which was brilliant. Yeah, thank you thing. for uh, promoting it. Oh, Pleasure. cheers. Yeah. Yes. I'm sorry we're leaving. Someone's just been rude to Sandra. I just had to do that for you. It's, I knew you'd like it's that It's iconic, one. isn't it? That line already is like, <laughs> people are like... Do it, do it again. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> that, I mean, when, do you, when does that get made? This is ridiculous yeah. that you're being... So you hopefully we'll get a series of that. Hopefully by the end of Christmas, they'll, they'll give me a go. Okay. Or a no. And you'll find out, yeah. But yeah. Lee. It's so good. I think it'd be it's good. It's, it's, it's online. It's it's all, you can watch it on the iPlayer if you haven't yeah, seen it. Yeah, yeah. Keep Ricky, check what it have out. you got coming up? I've got a couple of exciting things. Yeah, uh, yeah I um, uh, done a movie called Amsterdam, which is coming out next year. And uh, there's a movie called Mortakai that I'm filming next week. Nice. Yeah. Johnny Depp, in it? Yeah. Yeah, Johnny oh. Depp. Nice. That's good, isn't so it? I've got a scene with Johnny Depp. I get to drown him a bit, I think. That's excellent. Yeah, no. I know, which is great. It's not yeah. many people have to say that in, yeah, the, in yeah. their life. Yeah, yeah. Russell, what have you got? You, you've got. Oh, film. God. You've got You're so in much. America. No, you've cu- been filming in San Francisco. Yeah, Come I'm on. currently filming a show for HBO, a new brand new show which comes out next year called Looking. Which is set in San Francisco, so I've been there. And, I hear you, and you're playing a gay now, aren't you? I'm playing a gay. Yeah. A yeah. British gay. Oh, okay. okay. With cool. responsibilities. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Most of them so don't. Something, that. something for us all to look forward to. <laughs> Lots yeah. to look forward to a responsible British gay. Yeah, brilliant. about yeah. time. But it's uh, about, about time that's shown on TV. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah be a that's true interpretation. <laughs> exactly. Of what's Finally, in we've all been waiting for. At last. <laughs> At last. Yeah. And so you you you, do, you, do, you write as well, and you is, this, is there stuff coming up? Have you got anything that you? Yeah, I'm writing a up? drama for BBC One uh, with working title, which will shoot next February. I'm writing a show for FX in the States. Oh. And then I'm in a show, Krakenori, oh, yes. which is yes. an, like an adult Jackanori. Remember that kids' show, Jack? Yeah. That's on Sky. And then I think we're going to do on another. Dave, I think, isn't it? Oh, yeah, Dave. Dave. Yeah, yeah. Oh. And then um, we might do another series of Psycho Bitches. Oh, Sky. Okay. Yes. Wrong Man's yeah. got to go again. And Wrong oh, Man's Man is, Wrong Man's is still on. I think it's on tonight. Yes, it is. Yeah. It's on in about 20 minutes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> Sky Plus, it, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. And you're on Bad Education tonight as well. Yeah, that's of course. Cool Hasn't that finished? Oh, no, I think that's finished, yeah. Oh, that's okay. finished. Yeah, yeah. You it's everywhere. probably on iPlayer. So it's all on iPlayer. In, it's totally on iPlayer. Brilliant. Well, let's throw it open to the audience. Any, anything uh, you want to ask, please? Uh, je- I think there'll be a mic coming. So, gentlemen, there. Uh, mic's on its way now. There you go. Okay, thank you. Um, I-, I wondered, as actors, how do you, when they start filming, and how do you forget who you really are and. Uh, getting character and just even uh, like as you said, there's no filters. And um, did you study someone? But even if you do that, how do you just if uh, if they're so different to who you are in real mm. life? How do you like be, uh, stay congruent with that? It's the script. You just that is your bible. You just use the material and that and the stage directions. They they steer your performance. So just trust what um, we just trust what the writer does. And and your actions and what's happening around you. And when the yeah. writing's good enough and you're instinctive, it can just you don't define do the character and steer you where to go effortlessly. Mm-hmm. And them sort of scripts are rare, but when they come along, you know it, and this is one of them. And if you're slightly off, there we have an awesome director just to tell us where to go to direct. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, that, that I wasn't pointing at him. He's that, not was over a, there. that was my He's director in LA at pose. The moment. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. You have the same well director done. all the Good way through, question. haven't you? Mm. Yeah, yeah, Richard Laxton. Richard Laxton. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Saint Richard Laxton's been doing the whole lot, yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank oh, you. and just behind, yeah. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, so, with regards to the likes of uh, Steve and Becky, um, as a couple, you managed to get every 20s open couple in the country saying, that's just like us. <laughs> um, was there a rehearsal period or what was the rehearsal period that got you so comfortable as a couple? Because I've never seen a couple, like, it was really refreshing to see that there was a couple that were just, 
lazing about in their boxers doing nothing all day and it's, it is what people do you know and and what was it that was the rehearsal process to get that so real <clears throat> you say the script but give us something else about from the script <laughs> Well, it was a script. Uh, <laughs> we we did have a rehearsal period, yeah. actually. We we they hired a hotel room and they had a bed, and they set a camera up and we kind of rolled around on the bed, For about kissing a week, wasn't and cuddling, it? and then you you <laughs> yeah. turned up, and that's when we set you up with your husband. Thank now you. we had like we took a respite and we like did a bit of dating, blind, date, blind dating, yeah. and then we went back to rolling around in the bed. Uh, so we we definitely had a week or so of getting to know each other, didn't we? Yeah, and I think. To answer bo sort of both of those questions, it's it's about a, s a state of being relaxed, just really relaxed, so that we can play and we can feel comfortable with each other. And Russell is very good at that. I can't think of anyone else I would really be physically relaxed with. Your husband? Not even him. He <laughs> <laughs> um, can be a bit hard-handed. <laughs> um, and that and that's something that is just a chemistry thing. So you know, we were kind of lucky because it could have been. Hard, harder work. Been, yeah, I doubt we'd have got so far with the series if this wouldn't have worked. I agree. We had a rehearsal period before every uh, series as well, before every shoot. Yeah. So that's just right to, to block it Which out. It's very rare. You don't usually we'd have. We'd go in a yeah, we'd go in a room and you'd block it and you'd work out where you were in like on an empty kind of taped out floor. So you'd see this is where the bedroom mm. is and the bathroom. Which is very unusual for television. Mm. Normally, it's just straight in and do it. Yeah, so it was. It was like a rehearsal period for a play. Because they, yes. they were like plays for today. At the beginning yeah. of uh, every, every shooting yeah. week, every Monday morning, we ran the entirety of the episode with, uh, with uh, all of everyone involved standing around us. All so it's like had in to the watch traverse and follow in, us in the theatre. The like that, a that promenade the, play. Yeah, yeah. 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 and that, that was the most uh, the nervous bit, if you like. Because then after that, we I think we w went to get like maybe five minutes of finished footage every day. So it's just that same five minute sequence over and over, wasn't mm. it? Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, gentlemen, right over this side. Sorry to the. Oh, over the mic. Oh. There you go. Hello. Um, all right. So all the, <laughs> all the characters are great, obviously. Uh, personal favourite of mine would be Dan. Yeah. Oh, um, not here. So what's it Joe. like working with Joe? And how the hell do you keep yourself from corpsing every five seconds when he's around? <laughs> do you know what? I think Joe is one of the, the loveliest blokes he's I've ever yeah. worked with. He's just so down to earth and nice. And, and you know, there's, there's a, whole, a whole thing actually about people that being serious about comedy, you know, and, and comedy is a really serious business. And uh, actually, we don't corpse that much, you do. <laughs> I'm just a happy person. Time. I corpse all the horrible. time. I'm terrible. Yeah. I, la I laugh till I cry and then I really cry. We Joe's a funny stop. guy, isn't he? Joe's incredibly Joe's really funny. funny bloke. Yeah. Because come, cause you say cut and then he sort of comes out of that. <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, anyway, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Then, I get, him, then I get him to try <laughs> and sing, <laughs> sing Legally Blonde or musical numbers for me and he does oh and God. then he's back into Dan. <laughs> yeah. And then that's it. <laughs> he's brilliant. Yeah. Anything you want to say about Joe as well, Sarah? It's top bloke. Top bloke. Top bloke. <laughs> top bloke. <laughs> and, and Camille as well, we're oh. on the uh, subject of absentees. She makes me wet myself. She's lovely. Just oh, she's so completely funny. spoiled because it just feels like everyone knows what they're doing and it just feels so nice when you have a read through. And that's a testament to the team, that the directors, producers, castings, that anybody who comes in just feels so on par mm. and so nailing it. I don't think we've ever, ever had anybody that we've sort of gone wave your mouth to yeah. each other about. It's yeah. always yeah. been really... Get rid of him. Wave Get your mouth, is that like an actor's term? Wave, 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 wave your mouth. Oh, oh, God. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've been lucky. <laughs> 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 All, us four and then Camille and, and Joe, Joe, we've had such a laugh for, for four yes. years. Mm. We, in between takes, just tell each other stories and entertain each other. And, and we've gotten well, to know each other quite well. Yeah. Well, the amount of anecdotes we've told has been ridiculous, but to the point where we repeat anecdotes. <laughs> yeah. So you might, I might have heard her stories, <laughs> your, all your stories. Mm. Ricky raps, oh, like, Ricky's incredibly. Oh, Ricky's amazing I really want him to rap I could probably you, rap you everyone will. that he's you done will. that, because I know... You have to, you have an audience. My I'd brother's there, brother's going, oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Yeah. Rick, Rick oh, all the time, right? Come on. Rick, do After a little rap. Come on, do a little rap. Do a little rap. They are, I, they you are can stand up. Up. Don't get a book to toss at me for any overdue apology. I'm sorry, I got busy with chicken or egg philosophy. I couldn't possibly mature methodically as a kid. I was busy robbing all the money for Monopoly. What, what? See? 
And there's plenty more where that came from. Yeah. That's nothing. I need to break free of it. No, not at all. No. no. I'm so glad that came up because one of my big questions was get Ricky to rap was one of them. <laughs> we've got a show, cool. another big talk show called Youngers. Yes, uh, of course. We've done a uh, first series of last year and then the second one I think is yeah. going again. And we're, we're shooting that next yeah. month and that's a awesome if you, you like rapping. You rapped on that, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, every scene I've done an uh, alternative to the director. Well, I could rap in this one as well. <laughs> I hope in series two you're rapping a lot. The whole way. the rapping. I, that yeah. All my lines are rapping. Yeah, yeah. You've rapped a bit before. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm really yeah. straight. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to do a bit of rapping as well? No. no. Not right now. Okay. All right now. I need to warm up okay. my lips. Thank you. Thank you for your brilliant question Bra about Joe. Bra <laughs> Bra <laughs> Bra <laughs> yeah, lady in the middle, in the, in the front row. Hi. Um, out of all the series, what was your favourite moments to film? Oof. Oh, I, we got asked this <laughs> earlier, so and I, I realised my favourite moments of this film are the ones when we're all together yeah. in the bedroom or wherever we are, when everybody's there. Uh, and there's actually a scene that comes up later on in the series where everybody's kind of reunited because it's a wedding and it feels like a TOWIE special. It feels <laughs> like there's all like the, the family favourites are all there. Mm. Yeah. But the scenes when we're all together, and for me personally, is the scenes when there's like, it's quite emotional because I like the fact that this series. Uh, earns the right to kind of flip it on his head and to get quite tearful. And they're rare, but they're beautiful mm. when we get to do them. And I really like that challenge. I really like, I like, yeah, I know what yeah. Russell said as well, but there was a, the Christmas special was great for me. That I really loved working on that one. Yeah, I love the Christmas all singing special. at the end, yeah. and that was... Oh, that was nice. That was really yeah. Yeah. It was, actually. Well, well, there there was a, a lot of turkey. turkey. Yeah, oh, that yeah. was a week of turkey. Oh, God. Um, was it real turkey? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. um, well, there's loads of great moments, but one of them that sort of sticks out is a scene that Russell and I have with, with Kerry where she's found <laughs> a lump on Paul's <laughs> testicle and she wants uh, yeah. Steve to check it out for him, for her. <coughs> to feel his balls. Yeah, yeah. To feel his balls. <laughs> and um, she makes a racist comment about the doctor going, he can barely speak English, what's he going to know about cancer? So he had to go on it. Yeah. And then she looks at her glass goes, has this got lime in it? And for some reason, we could not get it together. And the director actually had to send us home. And the next so first day... they had to act to your back. The next day, she, she had to, then to I act to I stepped our out. Back. Turned yeah. around. We were, so she, she was looking at shaking backs of heads. Oh that was God, fun. That was I found funny. it last night while I was fucking him off. Disgraceful. <laughs> <laughs> Did you pick a favourite bit? No, come on, Carrie. Oh, but everything everyone said is like a favourite bit. Oh, it's okay. hard. It's well, hard. you like your emotional stuff, though. Yeah, I do. I do love my. But it's not very ent funny. But yeah, I love doing the silent scream. I really enjoyed <laughs> that. And that scene in the toilet with when I was like almost crying at you. You what know, was that? In this series. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> no. I can't say anything because it will ruin it. But yeah. yeah. We haven't seen that it's yet. Yeah. yeah, it's horrific. What about when you were drunk and throwing some Skittles? That was oh, awesome. Yeah, throwing a chicken at Camille. That was funny. It said cart, Kerry. Skittles everywhere. Props, guys. We're taking photographs. <laughs> Do we might have time for one more question? I'm going to be really crap. Sorry, Russell. How is Rocky? Oh, yeah, good question. Oh. 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 I was going to ask about Rocky as well, yeah. Rocky had yeah, his balls off today. Oh. Oh. So he's not happy with me. He's. Oh. Uh, so Rocky's a dog rather Rocky's than a dog. Oh, yeah, it's not yeah. a child. Can <laughs> 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 you imagine? He's my father. Just make that clear. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want him to have a high voice. Uh, he's. <laughs> He's all right. He's a bit dozy. He also had an elongated soft palate, which is very kind of renowned in the breed, and they had to shorten it by three centimetres, which is quite a lot, apparently. Um, elongated soft palate? Yeah, you know you're a bit roof of your yeah, mouth, yeah. the soft bit? Well, that goes further back on so the dogs. So a hard palate? No, the hard palate's at the front, soft's at the back. All right. And that goes all the way back, but he had on the French Bulldogs it goes further back, so they have less of a hole to breathe and swallow. Is that why they sound like? <laughs> That's where he's the snuffling. So they took that out, up. and then they op they opened his nose holes up a little bit with a bit of plastic surgery, so he's in the pores actually. So he's had some work <laughs> oh, done. Dear. He's had some work done, oh, yeah. He's oh, Phil, we've ended on a bit of a downer yeah. with... Uh, yeah. I gave him some Botox, and I kind of pulled the skin back. <laughs> oh, that's better. <laughs> so, yeah. so, yeah. Did you right. say that? 
You have no. to ask about rugby, uh. yeah, thank you. Um, well, I think that's all we've got time for. Can we say when the show series starts? Is I, don't, I don't know who can. can. We can yeah. In a few weeks. Mid-November, roughly, yeah. isn't it? And then the week before, you'll be able to see it on the BBC Three website. And all that's, or I play. I play, yeah. yeah. It's, it's yeah. being launched the week before it goes out on TV. There you go. On the iPlayer, which thank is a new thing. Coming. So I just want to awesome. yeah, thank you all yeah. for coming. And, and to thank Ricky, Kerry, Russell and Sarah. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Aww.